what a great day to sew something wonderful. I'm Kia with Kia B. This is Tech Guy from the Hive, and, and welcome, welcome to Floss Tube. We're so excited to be back with you again today. Yes, nice glasses. Twice in one week. Thank you. They're very golden girls of me. Um, I like them. I a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, bought um, two new pairs of glasses, and for the first time in my entire life, I've been wearing glasses since I was seven, and for the first time in my whole life, I got prescription sunglasses. So I'm at a point where um, I can no longer wear contacts. Um, the only time I can wear them is like if I'm swimming with the kids or, or um, whatever. So I buy lots of glasses so that I have lots of options. Yes, it's kind of so, like um, an accessory now. It's just kind of fun. Yeah, so, I, I think it's fun too. So. I buy them, so just to like put a little bit of perspective here, I bought uh, two pairs of glasses and a pair of prescription sunglasses. Both um, glasses have blue light blocking, which isn't super important to me uh, for my glasses, but they were running a sale and uh, for like a couple of dollars, I got the blue light lenses because they were again on sale. Um, and I paid less than $100 for all three pairs together. And that's not, that's no insurance or anything. So um, if you're interested, go to Zenny Optical, Z-E-N-N-I Optical. Um, they're phenomenal. Like I just, they have so many different kinds of frames and everything. So I really enjoy them. They really complement my mullet hairstyle that I have going on right now because I'm trying to let my hair grow. Um, but if you've been with us for a very long time, you know that my hair just, I do all sorts of different things. So nice. anyway. Anyway. So that was a long explanation. Thank you for the compliment. I, that's all I wanted to do is give you a compliment. <laughs> anyway, um, so received a lot of comments, uh, compliments, etc., on HomeCon and how people really enjoyed that, um, you know, sentiment that we kind of did on our own. And I was talking to Key about this uh, a few minutes before we hopped on here. It's you don't have to make an excuse to do it, right? right. So you don't have to like. HomeCon well, can literally be anywhere, anytime, anything. Anytime. Yeah. You know, it could be a slumber party with friends. It could be. Um, just friends that you're you're connecting with, um, to, like together for a couple hours. You know, you can make it to whatever you want. You don't have to use HomeCon. There's no like LLC behind it. Um, it's just one of those things that we want to. I kind of mentioned this last time. Um, make the most of the time that we have, um, that we have together, uh, when we can't necessarily go out and do things yet. So, yeah. but yeah, it was it was yeah. I enjoyed uh, watching the uh, reading the compliments and the comments and things like that and. You know things happen and we just got to roll with it and you got to do with what you can with what you have yeah i got a lot of emails and messages um saying can you please like make some official home con retreat like package with graphics and <laughs> ideas um i mean i guess i can do a video that talked about how i prepared for home con sure. but i literally did it in one night yeah um you know it was just out of the goodness of art heart or your heart because you did most of the design it was just something that i was like we're really down about not being able to be a part of like such an awesome event um that we finally got our swag for uh we even ordered swag um but or spirit wear whatever it's called um but i mean i guess i can do a video on like how to do an at-home retreat it was just something like comical and fun guys you know i don't want to i'm gonna start crying um like we've had a really rough summer and we were really just struggling and he saw a need there for my mom and I and um it I, was just, just kind of went with it we yeah. just we just flew with it right so, so I think that's, if that's a video you want to see we can do it that's fine yeah. I can do it and I can do it without tears absolutely but <laughs> Um, it would just be you yes. doing all the work and I'm just sitting in the corner getting yes. like Cheetos or something. Shut up. <laughs> but I think, I think what you were trying to say is you don't have to have an official like Correct. stitch con weekend is the weekend you're doing home con or this retreat you couldn't go to like do it when it's like 24 hours of cross stitch like do, do it, it whenever. whenever it doesn't need to be like the official official. So. We say that with the 24 hours of cross stitch because I think it's funny or Jen's told us several times people are like can I do 24 hours of cross stitch and she's Almost like, like I don't asking care. permission. I, yeah we, we yeah. don't care. Um, so uh, I know someone complimented on my mug this time it's a uh, oh look at that little, little oh. Oh. this is my um, business anniversary gift this year. Yep. Uh, it was a customized yeti. Yes. Yes. Um, somebody was I'm trying to remember who I can't remember but I laughed literally out loud. But it was somebody who watches all the time 
and she was dying over your dad joke pro mug. Thanks. The I boys got him that for Father's Day. They thought it was hilarious because he constantly is coming around with the dad joke. Yes, I do. Um, and thank you, thank you, thank you all for the happy birthday wishes for Kia. That was very, yeah. very wonderful. And um, I know you enjoyed them. Um, it was a sweet sentiment from all of our friends out in TV land. Yes, I got to read through um, tons of comments and um, not only here on YouTube, but also on Instagram, which was really sweet. Um, I said this in our previous video, but uh, we didn't end up doing anything. Um, and sometimes that can be really nice. Sometimes that can be a little, um, I don't know. And so I think with, with the... Everything going on. Yes. I think with everything going on, I would have loved to have done a little bit of something, but you know, we just took it easy as a family and um, had my parents, my sister over for dinner and her husband um, over for dinner and cake. And um, that was, that yeah, was really that was it. it. So, so anywho, yeah. we say that so, and say this. Um, say all of that to say this, I received a wonderful gift in the mail from my friend Liz. Hi Liz. She is so incredibly sweet. Um, she, she actually sent me a gift that is a two-parter. Uh, the first part I will talk about now and then the, the other part I will talk about later. But this first one is such a sweet little card that says um, just happy birthday Kia on it. It's a part one and part Look two. Look how beautiful this card is. I'm trying not to blow it out. There you go. There we go. Look how gorgeous, yeah. like gorgeous this card is. I love it. I think it's beautiful. So um, she sent me just the sweetest little note um, saying that she wished she could be here, uh, which was adorable. And then she gifted me, this is such a fun idea, you guys. She gifted me a day out. Yes. So she gifted me two gift cards, um, one for a makeup store and one for a clothing store. And literally, um, mm -hmm. I thought that was super a $5 bill taped in here and it says five dollars for a drive through drink on me so i just thought that was such a sweet, sweet sentiment sentiment that she sent like a day out because she you know she obviously knows what's been going on and she was like you need like a little bit of time out um and i don't need that but it was super sweet and sent the sentiment was just it was a thought that counts absolutely right? lovely so she gifted me two gift cards to have a day out and five dollars for a drive through drink on her um stephanie's one of the things that we talk about as our little group is um stephanie's love of um wendy's frosties and so that is true yes so i guess i could get a wendy's frosty so anyway we did have plans at StitchCon to go get a uh, Wendy's Frosty all together <laughs> and for you to go get us Krispy Kreme because they finally just had a Krispy Kreme open up in Cincinnati. Hopefully there will be um, one here soon. But next year. Maybe. So anyway. So okay. what's up? Whips. Oh, it's whip time. Yeah. So um, I have a little bit more uh, whips that you I worked do. on. So I'm going to go ahead and go, you go first? first and talk about patriotic stitching. Fantastic. So I talked about this a little bit last week. Um, but I decided I just wanted to do a little bit of patriotic stitching. So I pulled out um, Teresa Kogut, This Land. I love this piece. It's cute. I am doing this on, I restarted this, and I'm doing it on 40 count <laughs> silver fur by Lakeside. Look at them legs. Look, oh my gosh, it's so cute. That's cute. cute. So I think last time I just had 1776 and like three hearts done and maybe that star. So I worked on it just a little bit. Um, did we even, we didn't do anything on the fourth. Did we stitch? Oh, we filmed on the fourth. That's what we did. We did. So um, I'm having fun. I'm doing all the called for colors on that. Just um, a different fabric. I really like the gray. I like how it's like making it pop almost. I don't know, I'm really enjoying that. So I worked on that. And then for my other patriotic piece, I have three that I'm working right now. I only got to two of them this week, but that's okay. This one, you guys, I'm struggling with. I'll show you, obviously, but, um, so this is Let Freedom Ring Box by Mandy Dodonna. So I'm not finishing it as a box. I just wanted to finish it and maybe frame it probably, but I'm struggling because, hmm, I'm doing it on 40 count, color and cotton corn husk, but the one over one stitching, I 
you can ask anybody, any Liz Matthews knows this probably better than anybody else because I model stitch for her sometimes. Um, my tension is extremely tight. My stitches are awesome. Like two, two, I'm sorry, they are. I do love them. I have gotten to a point where I love, love, love my stitches and I need to be confident in that. Mm -hmm. But my tension is the tightest I've ever seen anybody's. <laughs> I just really, for whatever reason, I guess I take out my aggression on my stitching. I don't know, but I really like it. And so it's I uniform. do pull kind of tight and it's very, like every stitch matches the one mm -hmm. before it. It's taken me a long time to get to that point. But when it comes to one over one stitching. No ma'am, no ham, no turkey. That ain't it. <laughs> that ain't it. <laughs> and it's not like you want to get better at it. No, I just don't, you just don't do want it. to do it. <laughs> so I say all that to say this. So you see all my notes across my pattern, which I know some of you are like, oh, please don't write on your pattern. But I did with pencil. So this quilt is all one over one. Mm -hmm. America is one over one. 1776 is one over one. And let freedom ring is one over one. Okay. So I have decided to bite it and do America in one over one. I started it last night. You did. The quilt not gonna happen it ain't it it ain't it for me so i'm gonna have to redesign something to go in that quilt stand and then instead of let freedom ring i'm gonna do a second american flag on this side to mirror that and then in 1776 i will probably bite it and still do that so let me show you my progress and then just i guess just i'm asking how do y'all do like how do you one over one stitching just it doesn't People look... can do it. They have the knack for yes. it. They have the skill. They want. They want for it. Yeah. We're just not those people. So here it is. Where's the quilt stand? This is the one over one I'm talking about right now. The quilt stand has nothing in it because I'm gonna have to redesign something. Correct. So I don't know, guys. Like I'm looking at it in the daylight, and it's fine. It's just not the primitive stitching that I like. I like I to see the X's, and in one over one, one one over one, you don't see an X. X's and O's. It's the same reason I'm struggling with 56, whatever it is, 53, 50, 53, 63 count right now, because I want to see my X's. And when I pull really tight on that, anyway, yes. So those are my patriotic whips that I got through this week. <laughs> so, and that, um, let freedom ring. That was a new, it wasn't a new start. It was a restart. Yes. And so I started from nothing this week and got that far. So, so I just can't wait to do those little chic. I sorry. Am, no, it's... Don't be sorry. I'm just along for the ride. There you go. Squirrels. I am like right... Right in there. And you know what? That pattern is huge. Oh, it's a it's a big, big boy. Well, it's a big piece, yes, but I mean the pattern itself. It's the symbols huge. Are huge. And I have it on my iPad, and I always do this to myself. When I want to stitch, it's not charged. And yes, I do know there's a power button. After you charge it, just turn it off. I don't know what happened. I don't know that I've ever turned off my iPad. Yeah. Anyway, so I was right here. So I've got this completed there. And when I hit right up here, I got a little nervous. Because you want the things to like line up. You want the, the, the boxes to line up. You want things to line up. And you're like, please don't mess up. Yes. And please, I don't want yeah. to rip things out. And I don't want to know it's 1500 stitches later that I found a mistake. So this is, let me see that one more time. So I got this finished and then I came back up and then I found out that I didn't finish these like five stitches right here. So I just kind of like, I didn't travel, tied off and then came back over here. So I would like to get this flower done. I would actually just like to get the first page done it's soon. so cool. And I love that thread so much. The variegation much. is awesome. Tell me again what the thread is. That is swamp water. Oh, that's funny in that you're using the Bigfoot. I mean, he's not a swamp monster, but it's just funny. Yes, anyway. I like it. So, uh, it of course, uh, Believe in Yourself. I love that. Uh, Neil Miner. Love it, love it, love it. But I love this piece. And I think I talked about it last video and the video before that. Just to get my my stitching groove back in. Yeah. I just don't need to be messing with colors and wrestling with colors. And this is an awesome gift. And I wanted to make sure that I... Dude, I gifted you that and the needle minder. That's funny. I know. It's a gift that keeps on giving. So that's where that's where we're at. Uh, Ink Circles, Squirrels of Sumatra. I love it. 
Um, I do want to get this done this year. I don't know how that's going to happen, but I'd like to get it done. You want to get that and your first Thanksgiving done, and those are two massive pieces. They're big. So. They're big. Okay. They're so, big. what do you have? Okay, and then I just have one mm. more whip that I want to talk about. Friends. So, um, we obviously, as we all have heard the news, that um, Barb from Blackbird Designs has passed away. Um, she passed away July 4th that morning. And I would encourage you so, so much to read the little um, tribute that Alma posted on her Instagram with the beautiful picture of Barb. So incredibly sweet. I never got the opportunity to meet them, um, but just their friendship is just a testament to the type of friend I want to be and the type of friend that I long for. And they are just, um, I know Alma is feeling that loss so very deeply, um, deeply than um, a lot of us. So um, our condolences obviously go out to um, that family. They won't ever see that, but um, just that. So I wanted to pull out a Blackbird um, design that I had just so I could stitch on it a little bit um, and just kind of reflect on that and the one I have working right now is my friend's house so I've told the story several times before um, but this is the um, Jen Lee was stitching on this at my house last year and I was like oh I have to stitch on this she had a beautiful piece of fabric she was stitching something else on and I was like oh I love that fabric so I got the two and ended up stitching this and just love it so much but you guys i only put in maybe 75 stitches if that because i got distracted so um the tribute that is inside of this pattern is beautiful so it is the story of how barb and alma met where they um where they met is a quilt and a cross stitch shop and Alma goes on to say that they made this wonderful connection because Barb came to a class that Alma was teaching and they both just like... Magnet. Yes. And so then they started meeting and talking about designing and things like that. Um, they lived a good distance apart. So she talked about how um, instead of like getting together at houses because they weren't able to do that, um, as often as they would have liked, they started doing like halfway. So like Nordstrom's Cafe or Applebee's or um, even just a parking lot they made into an office. And so um, Barb and Alma bless us with so many amazing patterns. And this is just one that I'm working on right now. And um, I just think it's beautiful. And the whole sentiment about how they met over their love of crafting and their love of quilting and cross stitch and wool applique and all of those things and now that has blossomed into this beautiful design company that they have and so um i just i thought that was wonderful so i got distracted in doing that because i uh, looked down to check my floss color and i started reading that because i hadn't yet and i just thought that was amazing so um with all that to be said here I had the, say, alf that, this, say, this. <laughs> say that to say this, um, I had this little bit of alphabet here. So I started the house again, did not get very much done, but, um, I just wanted to reflect on that. And I just think that's a beautiful sentiment, oh, yeah. a beautiful testimony to friendship. And, um, I just love that. So anyway, our, um, our community will be, um, sad without her. So, yeah. Yeah, it'll be a, a hole in our community. Um, so, speaking of whips, speaking of whips, if you haven't seen our whip parade, go ahead and check that out. Um, I kind of reflecting on that whip parade, and I said, I think I said it in that video, I didn't realize how much I had, how much I restarted or going yeah. to restart, yeah. and how much I've already had it kit because up you guys, kitted. I cut you off. I'm so sorry, you that guys. Tech guy has come to my small stitching side. The dark side of stitching is what I call it. I used to be called a monogma stitcher. That quickly faded out. Yeah, I wasn't even talking about that. I was talking about the fabric count. Tell the people what fabric count you are most comfortable stitching now. 40 and 46. 40 and 46. He dabbles in some 36. 
<laughs> Y'all, I'm just gonna be honest. What? Nothing. I just, I've come a long way and I thought I was gonna stick with one particular fabric and mm -hmm. I was now entrusted with fancy floss. No, you guys. We you were going that? through. You remember that? Oh, about the fancy floss. Yeah, yes. about the fancy floss. Okay, so we're going through his projects. I'm writing them down. We both use Jen Lee's planner. Mm -hmm. And I'm writing them down on his whip list. And we're picking out new fabric for ones that he wants to restart. And it gets, he holds up this piece of fabric. He's like, this is, this is the fabric I need for this. And I was like, okay. And I look at it and it's a piece of lakeside linen. And I was like, oh girl. Ooh, girl and I said listen I will cut this for you obviously like you are welcome to use it but just know this is treasured fabric so you need to be careful that's exactly the same speech you gave me with fancy floss yes and then remember when you got grounded from fancy floss because you were literally just like balling it up and throwing it in your bag okay I I have to know like if you are a multi-stitcher home do little things like that. Do do one is one of you like a little bit more protected. Doesn't have to be sickness? at home though, because if you have a friend that you're stitching with most of the time, like is there subtle differences? Like, yeah. Like the when your when your parents were here. Yeah. Your mom took the liberty oh. to stick sidetrack, we're gonna digress here. Took the liberty to not one needle with floss, not two needles with floss, but three needles with floss, and the arm of my favorite yellow chair that I stitch in. Just She pre-threaded her floss for the project she was She could have came in here and got a pin cushion. She was working on wool applique, and instead of re-threading a needle every time, she just left it threaded, and she stuck them in the top of the armchair, and I thought this poor man was going to be like, what are you doing? Um, yes. So instead of getting a pin cushion, she did. She did just use the arm of the chair. Yes. So I'm kind of curious on what little things. Yeah. <laughs> are there little <laughs> things about other stitchers that you just are like, what are you doing? <laughs> and it's magnified with us because obviously we live in the same house. Yeah. And we stitch in the same area and. Um, I actually have my little shelf now <laughs> in, the, in the studio, and uh, I can only imagine what she thinks every time she passes by that's, that could be. <laughs> I need a curtain for his shelving. <laughs> like one of those tour bus shelves? Yes. Oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> okay, we digre yes. digress. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. So, if you missed our whip parade, it was on July 4th. Uh, we didn't plan it to be on that day. We just... I think it finally got... Uh, yeah, maybe it uploaded on July 4th. I didn't yeah. intend it to be no. Sunday. I wanted it to be Monday morning, and we yeah. had so much trouble uploading it. I was like, oh, I just feel like we need to go ahead and do it. Yep. So... You know that's the life so yeah we just kind of like let's she's like let's just do something or hey i've got a quick project and i know from this lady there is no quick projects there's usually one project that goes to another project that goes to another project that goes to another project and then she's like hey it snowballs it snowballs so i've i've grown to love that about my bride that's so sweet yes yeah it used to it used to be like that, that thing but i just know if i'm going to get into something with her it's going to snowball into something different. So just roll with it like a snowball. Roll with it like a snowball. I'll call you a Yeti. Yes, ma'am. All right, what's next? Okay, let's talk about post. Post. Oh, the post. Yes. So Tech Guy headed to the post this week because I have a couple of packages that came in. I'm waiting on a couple more, but um, I have a couple. I have a couple more of things that I ordered, but um, these are gifts that were in the post that were so incredibly sweet. So I want to go through these. The first one is from Colleen. Oh. She is the Rebel Stitcher Designs. You guys, oh my goodness. She's a very talented lady. So she's who I bought your um, Yeti mm -hmm. or your um, Sasquatch. Sasquatch needle minder from. Yep. She has a display of needle minders always at keepsakes and I saw that and I was like oh my gosh like that's amazing so um she sent me this little package I had seen that she had given Liz this needle minder so mm. I immediately texted her and I was like do you have any more I need them and she was like yeah I actually do 
when I get back from vacation, I'll put one in the mail. I said, okay, great. Just invoice me. I will pay you all, take all my money for this one needle miner. She was like, no, I wanted to get you a little Stitchcon gift, but since you weren't able to be there, so I will throw that in the mail. So she um, threw this little gift package in the mail, which was so incredibly sweet, all for this needle finder. Ew, David. Oh my gosh. And at the bottom, it says I'm trying really hard not to connect with people right now. <laughs> mm, me. Oh, that's me. This is terrible, but we were sitting in church on Sunday. We were sitting in the lobby and I was holding our son and I was like, mm, I'm trying really hard not to connect with people right now. <laughs> okay. And then she also sent these other two, which Tech Guy has already claimed one of them. So guys, her needle minders, not only are they just amazing, but they're incredibly well made and sturdy. Like I love them. So she sent me those and then she sent me sticker packs because she knows what's up. So I got a whole pack of stickers that are all snowflakes. I mean, that's amazing. And then a whole pack that are all sunflowers. Love it. Isn't that so sweet? So thank you, Colleen. I already messaged you, but um, thank you, Colleen, for my sweet little StitchCon gift. I thought that was absolutely adorable. I'm really sad that we didn't get to stitch together because I know she's moving and, oh. She's a lot on her plate. Yes, yeah, she has a lot on her plate. So the fact that you took time out to mail me that was incredibly special. So thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, and then the next thing was a StitchCon gift also from Liz Matthews. So this is the two-parter of her, um, or I'm sorry, the second part of her two-part gift was a StitchCon gift. So I had planned um, to exchange gifts with the girls while we were there. We were going to obviously have some time together and we didn't get to make that happen. So theirs is in the mail. It, it actually should be them to them, be, be them to them, be to them already. Uh, but Liz sent me mine and I just think, oh my gosh, you guys, look at this notebook. That is bright. Isn't it <laughs> awesome? It's huge too. It's okay, are you all like Liz and I, and I know Steph does this too. First of all, this is like a pleather um, cover. It's amazing. But do you hoard notebooks and not know what to put in them? So I need all the ideas in the comment section of something really cool I can do with this notebook. I'm not a huge journaling person. Um, I am a planner person to the core, but I already have my planners. So I need some really amazing ideas to do this that are not just like sitting down and journaling because I do not keep up with that very well. <laughs> okay, so then she also sent some stickers because you guys, we have a love of stickers all together. So this is a whole Mambi set of stickers that are like tie dye and like beautiful. So I got those. Then she sent me a little like sheet pack of them. Um, so adorable. And then she sent me, okay, this. I was like, what is this? See, it's like flat. And I thought, okay, what is this? And it's holographic and gorgeous. And then I realized that there's tape on all the sides. So I was like, oh, there must be stuff in it. Guys, she made an envelope out of a piece of scrapbook paper. Look at that. Of course she did. She's so crafty. So there's that. And there were all of these sticker sheets. So we love good stickers, um, good planner stickers. And the girls have finally, like I have been a planning nut and planner stickers literally like since I quit my job in 2012. Like since it's I've been, been that long. a home mama, like I just have all the planners. And even before that I had all the planners every day. I had a planner that I was working in for work and all those things. But like when I came home, I was like, I need to make my planner pretty. So look at these post stickers. I love it. Which I will tell you, great minds think alike. There we go. Great minds think alike. And I got them very similar things as well. Um, I'm sure you will start seeing those. Okay. So machines. Well, I guess I shouldn't say I'm sure you should start seeing those. There you go. Okay. Yeah, what do you mean? I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. Like, How you mean? They're gonna show them. I just meant, mm. anyway, we all have a lot of stickers. I'm digging myself a hole here. <laughs> Here's a bunch of honey stickers. So stinking cute. Sweet. Okay, here's filming stickers, which, I mean, these are cool. Yeah. Like, like filming so days. cool. And then cute little, look at these holographic ones. 
ones. Oh, they they do that. Yes. That's a thing. These gorgeous flowers. I'm trying to. You can come in my bubble. Sorry. No, you're. Look how pretty the flowers are with the typewriter. Okay, and gardening ones. I'm trying not to put my finger over the person who made them. I will tell you who it is in just a second. Alyssa's and Craft then Shop. This last one, which is big stickers. Oh. I just think these are beautiful. So this one is from JP. It just um, says JP at the top. Jib. Okay, and then this one is from Alyssa's Craft Shop Farmhouse Deco is what this one is called. So there is the yeah. shop. Then this one is called the Pretty Pink Co. Is that one? This one is from Crafts by Crafts by. Oh, I do not want to mispronounce this. To Howie. Mm -hmm. Okay, dot com, and this one's called Spring. So I'm gonna hold that up, so maybe you can, I don't know if it's gonna focus. Yeah. Hide your face for a second. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. You say that with all the Okay, <laughs> it's Crafts, C-R-A-F-T-S-B-Y-T-H-A-O-W-I-E.com. Okay, and then all these cute little same ones are from White Deer Stationery. So all of those cool. cute little ones were from there. Okay, and that's not even the end of her StitchCon gift. She really spoiled me. That was very sweet of her. Yes. Um, then, and you know what? I don't I don't 100% remember if this was for StitchCon or if this was for my birthday, but she knows I love a good antique and she is like the queen of antique shopping. She found me this grain sack. Oh my, I didn't even see that. Yes. So it's called Bisbee Old Process Soybean Oil Meal. Wow. And it's just the fabric. The bag is taken apart. It's old and crusty and stained. And, and I love, love it. it. It's amazing. That's it's awesome. honestly amazing. I didn't even amazing. see that. My mom was like, what are you going to do with it? And I was like, oh, I kind of want to like back it with some muslin, put it on my long arm, bind it, and hang it on the wall somewhere. I kind of do. Tell me if you've done that before. I don't know. Okay. And then... Um, Liz and Steph obviously knew that we were doing home con and Liz sent me the sweetest message. Let's see, Stitch Con started on Thursday morning and she said, she sent Nathan and I both video messages and said, she was like an announcer and she was like, you have your very own, what was it called? Home con freebie table. <laughs> and she was like, she like laid all the I can only imagine what other people were thinking when she was doing like this designer is going. No, this was in, no, no, no. This was in her room. Okay, of the good. things she was putting on okay, the freebie table. Okay, cool. She was like, you can choose whatever you want before I put it on the freebie <laughs> table. And so we chose Prairie Schooler, a Prairie Year 2. Love this. And then also the um, Prairie Schooler Village Sampler. So I am going to be very honest and say I already have this pattern, but it's the reprint. Now this is the original and I'm very, very excited about it. So she gave us those from the freebie table and then she sent us patterns. So amazing. So this is old friends. I like that. Your heart and my heart are very, very old friends. Okay, so this is from her newest release. Okay, then she also sent us fourth day of Christmas. She is a busy lady. I know. This one is Karen Hansen. So beautiful. And then this one, my home in the garden. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't she lovely? It's just, she's so sweet. Thank you so much, Liz, for sending me all the goodies and the amazing things. And I want to share old friends with one of you. So let's do a giveaway. Let's do it. Yes, because Liz sent me two. Oh! So I can selfishly keep one and then also get one. Got him. So I would love to know. Ooh, okay. Tell me who your best friend is at, down in the com in the compliments. <laughs> down in the comments and tell me why your heart and their heart are very, very old friends. Aww. I would love to know this. I cannot wait to cry over all the comments and read all about your best friends and, um, everything so we're gonna be crying we're gonna be able to stitch i know thank you for being my best friend oh 
we've known each other for a very long time. Since we were seven. We, oh, man, yes. I'm still around. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I'm tired of talking. You talk for a minute. All right. No, nope, I lied. I'm gonna say one more thing. Just joking. I'm, I'm so sorry. We're gonna talk about Hall for a second. So, <laughs> I have a little PSA before you talk about Hall. Um, some of the designers that you know and love, actually most of the designers that you know and love have freebie patterns. You just need to search the internet for them. And I don't mean to go on Pinterest and grab screenshots of their patterns. I do not mean that. That is wrong and you should never ever do that, okay? My mom voice just came out. I mean, go to Plum Street Samplers and click on her freebie link and she will take you to all sorts of patterns like this. It's called Holy Night and it's a complimentary design from Plum Street. And it just says, my, uh, my uh, the soul felt its worth. And I just think like that is amazing. And the fact that these designers work so incredibly hard, not only to produce patterns that make them a living, but they also produce patterns for us to enjoy as complimentary. And so sometimes we are- Like this are, is on us. Yes. Like sometimes as people, we are in a position where maybe we can't spend money on our craft. Maybe we can't, um, we don't have the extra funds or maybe we want to try and get somebody into stitching and not sure if they're on the, you know, they're kind of like on the fence on whether they're going to like it or not. Find a freebie pattern. Not only does it like get you obviously a complimentary pattern, but it allows traffic to get to their websites. So you finding a Plum Street website and going to their her freebie um, patterns gets you on her website and allows you to look at her other things, her blog. So I just wanna encourage you. Also, don't forget the little freebies. Sign up for newsletters. Liz has a newsletter. You get it, she puts complimentary patterns in there literally all the time. You can only get them if you're signed up for her newsletter. Sign up for them. So it I, helps support them. It would be safe to say that doesn't cost you anything. I'm sorry. That you go directly to the designer website. Yes. And the designer blog. Yes. And not yes. maybe poach from a different website. Yes. Got it. Because I would say, like, for instance, you can find tons of Prairie Schooler Santas, the picture of them, of the chart themselves on Pinterest. Now you should report those if you see them, but they're out there. And you should not be a garbage human being and try and get those. You should purchase them. But if a designer has a complimentary pattern out there for you, if you sign up for a newsletter, if they have a blog and they have a direct link to it, look, you're freaking out that I just said a garbage human being. This channel is about positive and happiness. <laughs> <laughs> but I just, I want you to encourage, I want to encourage you to support your favorite designers. And you know. Yes. Okay. So. And it, it doesn't cost you anything to sign up for a newsletter. I think that's what. It doesn't cost you anything to go to their website and take a look at their blog and what they're doing and their daily life, to like their Instagram, to do all those things. Like those things don't cost you extra money. So support them. We say that to say this. We are very passionate coming alongside of these designers. And it, we do not, not we, the designers do not, they work very hard for what they do. Mm -hmm. And Absolutely. the things that we see at their end product results, we don't see their sweat, we don't see their tears, we don't see the frustrations of trying to make sure colors are aligned and they look good in the palettes and the fabric, things like that. Yeah. Like, to help them. Yeah. Cool. Okay, now we're off our soapbox. Okay, I'm so sorry. Now you can talk about other haul. Didn't I know we were going that with little, that. I was. I'm so sorry. I just want to put that little PSA uh, out there. So anyway, I can't wait to read your comments about old friends. <laughs> Come back around something positive. Yes. <laughs> we'll back around there. All right. So we did a little little shopping at the cre the the, the creepsakes. <laughs> creepsakes. The keepsakes. It will forever and always now be known as the creepsakes. Oh man, I'm sorry, ladies. Nope, that's all. I'm sorry. Just joking. That was random. Mm -hmm. All right. Look at this, Plum Street Samplers flirting. So just to be clear here, we did not travel to Keepsakes. These are things I purchased um, when Plum Street first came out with these patterns. I like back in May, I think, or maybe April, I emailed Keepsakes and said, can I please be on the pre-order list for these? I will pick them up at StitchCon. We obviously weren't there. So I just now finally got them. Always remember. I shouldn't say finally. They just now came in the mail. Yeah, I 
it's just one of those things, supply, shipping, and demand, things like that. Okay. Uh, the equally. Equality. Thank you. Equality sampler. We homeschool our kids. <laughs> there you go. Oh, can you hear the washer? Nope. Sorry. Nope. Uh, the flag. Flag flock. flock. That's and hard keep, to say. Keep. Flag flock. I saw that. I read it. My mind's like. Flag oh. flock and keep sheep. And make sure sheep, that keep. we we were saying the right things. Sheep, cool. Cool. That's some really good plum tree stuff. Yes. And then of course, be stitch. We came in. The silk of the month, June 2021. Hi. We're all good. Crinkly. Espresso. He's still coughing. Still breathing. Java Hut. What is that part in Christmas Vacation where he like looks at the table and he's like, oh, he's just hacking up a bone. <laughs> Mocha. Got it up. Cold foam. That's a weird. Very interesting color. And then light roast. Oh, that looks really orange -ish yellow. Yeah, you're not getting the. This is like a DMC um, 435. Almost. Yes, ma'am. Dude. And then we've look got at the. Look those. Like, look at this one specifically and the. Whoops. Oh, dropping your floss. Okay, this one specifically and the variegation in that. That is an awesome color. This is awesome for a fall project. Ooh, a squirrel in his nut. What? I'll do Blue loose. On. There you go. All right, and then grog. This is 46 count. Oh. Open it up so that people can see. Ooh. There you go. Grogging. It's really pretty. Grogging. That's really pretty. All right, I think that's good for me. What's your plans? Uh, my plans going forward, I'm waiting on a model to get here. Um, it's just a small, maybe like 5,000 stitch model um, that I will be getting done in the next two or three weeks and um, sending them back. So that will Fantastic. be my focus. I will stitch on um, some other things just so I have, we can make floss tube next week and I have something to show because uh, I won't be showing a model, but. Show the models. Yeah. And then my plan is going on the squirrels. Oh, you're going to continue with squirrels? A squirrel, uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. We should go check out our channel. We should probably check out our channel. <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us in the hive today. Um, we appreciate the camaraderie, camaraderie that um, we get to have in front of you all. And it's just really fun for us to do something together. So thank you so much for your patience and for sticking around and for joining us in the hive today. All right. Bye. Bye.